Welcome back, everybody. Moving on to the next question. We have to determine the value of m such that the scalar projection of this vector b, which has components 1 and negative 2 plus m, on vector a, which has components 6 and negative 7, is negative 8 root 85 all over 85. So this question is going to have quite a bit of algebra, but it's not too bad. So we're working with a scalar projection of what? B on A. Well, what's the formula for that? It's basically the dot product between A and B all over the magnitude of the vector that we're projecting on. So we're projecting on vector A, so it's gonna be all over the magnitude of A. Well, the scalar projection we're told is this here. What about the dot product? Dot product, we're not told what it is, but we could find it. So we can multiply the components by each other, sum them up. So six times one is six. Uh, and then negative seven times negative two plus m. So we'd have like minus seven and then negative two plus m here. All over the magnitude of a. Magnitude of a is gonna be what? Six squared plus negative seven squared. So 36 plus 49 gives us 85, and then the square root of that should be the square root of 85. And now notice that we can cross multiply and solve for this m value. So this times this, so we'd have negative eight, and then root 85 times root 85, that just gives us 85. And then we'll have 85 on the outside here, multiplied by this whole expression. So six, let's distribute this negative seven in the brackets. So negative seven times negative two is positive 14. Negative seven times m is negative seven m, like that. Now notice, we could simply cross out the 85s, divide both sides by 85. So we got negative eight is equal to, uh, six plus 14 is 20, minus seven m. Continuing this up here, so bring the 20 over, so negative 8 minus 20 is negative 28, equals negative 7m. Divide both sides by negative 7, m is 4. That there is your final answer. So vector b would actually be 1 and negative 2 plus 4, which is 2. So if you find the scalar projection, uh, vector b 1 and 2 on 6 and negative 7 on vector a, you should get this value. That's how you can check your answer.